think of the guys' performance tonight? Well, I thought it was a great performance. Um, I thought, especially in the second half, I think, yes, also the first half, but the way we moved the ball in the second half, the way uh, we exposed them, um, especially in the wide areas, the way we put you know better crosses inside in the second half, you know, overall, uh, a very good performance, very content with the group. Um, they are a difficult team. They're a team that defend, you know, they defend very well. Uh, they look for the counters, and I thought we dealt very well, very well with the counters in every moment. Um, in the moments also that we have to defend a little deeper, uh, the guys uh, sacrificed to make sure that we kept the, the score the, the way it was. Once we got the second goal, I think things opened up even more, and um, and I thought that uh, that third goal was you know uh, huge for us coming from Connectney that came fresh, got the job done, and uh, overall a very good performance. And now we need to make sure that we keep on working, we keep on getting better, and uh, and now we have another one on Wednesday. You talked earlier this week about how you can't you, referee decisions are going to happen. You you can't let that impact you. Um, obviously, there was you guys didn't look that happy at halftime. What was sort of the message at halftime heading into the second half to make sure that performance came out and you guys got the job done? Yeah, I, I, I told the guys uh, what I always tell them: just you know, make sure that uh, we don't let those things frustrate us that we need to continue to play. We need to make sure that we don't think about, you know, what happens and the decisions that the referee is going to make. We have to do our game and, and get the job done. Um, of course, you know, uh, I can have my opinion on the PK. Um, there's been three games in which, you know, <laughs> gone two against us and one no for us. Um, maybe it wasn't clear, maybe it was a little push, maybe it was a little clearer than the one that they gave us away, you know, uh, for Minnesota the other day. But listen, I don't want to get on PKs. I thought that uh, the most important thing about today was the uh, the performance of the guys, the way we play, the energy from the fans was fantastic, and overall a very good performance. Gio, did you talk about composure at that time? Because like Jamie said, it seemed like a few of the guys were really kind of riled up as he went to the locker room. Yeah, no, the guys, the guys, it's normal, you know. The guys are normal because they felt that, uh, you know, in, in Minnesota, in, in the in the uh, game that we played, that we got a PK against us that uh, wasn't clear and obvious. You know, as much as we can put cameras, uh, you know, to cut the third and put this one in the bottom, and it's still not obvious. Uh, maybe one says maybe you know. So then, of course, we get mad because this one was more handball than that handball. But again, I don't want to get into you know referees are human; they make mistakes. Even we bar bar doesn't solve every issue. Um, and I think what we have to think about today is that we make sure that we got the job done. We didn't let the referee influence the game in any way. And this is the type of team that we need to be. Uh, Brian Fernandez, not in the eighteen, does he have a knock, or was it just part of the? Yeah, preventive. Uh, just uh, you know. Uh, he had a little tightness, and he's too important. So we make sure that uh, he, you know, he's uh, rested and, and ready for Wednesday. So you expect that he could be available Wednesday. I expect him to be ready on Monday to train. Okay. And talk about uh, Larina's goal. I mean, actually, both goals. You play these bunker teams. You get two goals by the the team. Just talk about how nice it was, but how important it is to be able to have that. Yeah, I think, I think I think three great goals. Uh, Loria's goal, Seba's goal, um, and also at the end, uh, Jebo's goal from a great play from Konechny. You know, and I think overall, I think what we have to look is not only the goals but the performance. I think it was a very mature performance, a good performance from everybody. The energy was great. The fans brought so much to the game as well. It's great to play at home now, and we need to take advantage of you know these games that we have at home and and uh, hope that we can get as high as we can get. Do you, feel, do you feel like guys are getting more comfortable on the surface, the artificial turf here and how it plays? Today was great because uh, it rained, so the ball was moving very, you know, very nice uh, on, on the ground and um, it allows to be able to move the ball faster to wide areas. Um, and, and I think it helped for sure today, you know, the, the weather was, uh, uh, I think, a good thing for us. What, what does it mean to see Luria putting in the performances? He's already he, he still, when we think about you know, he's just an almost rookie. Um, see him putting the, in these performances and finding these goals for you guys. Yeah, no, I, I, and not only Luria, I think uh, Renzo today as well. And then connect me when he came in. And Jebo, you know, the way he performed. Um, it, it's great to see these young guys uh, stepping up and, and, uh, and, and doing better, developing, um, competing. 
in, when we call them to come in and play, they, they do a great job. So overall, fantastic. Loria today show again that he's hungry, that he won't, you know, that he can help uh, with the goal, the way he defended, the way he played, connecting as soon as he came in, changed the game uh, to create that moment that we needed. So very content with everybody, and uh, that's why I think uh, we have a great group. And, but we need to make sure that we continue to work. We need to continue to get better. There's areas that we can improve still. And but today was a you know a very uh, uh, important three points that we needed.